Today we will be going over the repair and testing of a KB electronic DC drive. This type of motor control is very different from an AC motor control. Here we will demonstrate the components used in controlling the output to a motor on a DC drive. Here we can see two sets of what are called SCRs, silicon controlled rectifiers. These are responsible for moving the motor in two directions, forward and reverse. Here we have a power board to an AC drive. An AC drive works by taking another AC voltage into the input, rectifying it, putting it on a DC bus, and then inverting it using gate circuitry and an IGBT, insulated gate bipolar transistor for the output. An AC drive is far different from a DC drive in this respect. So now we will go over the testing and the repair of this DC drive. We have already replaced all the SCRs that were blown on the output of this drive. We have also replaced all of the capacitors on the logic board so that we know that this drive will last a long time in service. We will re-establish the connections and go ahead and run our test. We have this DC drive wired to utilize a potentiometer for speed. This will be our speed control. And we have jumpers for the enable circuit of the drive as well. This will represent, say, a switch. So first we will go ahead and power on. And here we know we are getting power to the unit and we have our fields and our armatures hooked up to our test motor. We will use an oscilloscope to monitor the output using our enable jumper we will go ahead and set the enable. Now that the drive is enabled, we will go ahead and use our potentiometer to run the motor. We can see the boost in current on our power supply, and we can watch the motor spin from here. We will monitor the output of the drive by using our oscilloscope. I will put my oscilloscope leads here. And now we can see the waveform on the oscilloscope. As we change speeds, we can see changes in the waveform. We have determined that the output of this drive is performing as expected. We will now move the drive over to our dynamometer to be load tested and then cleaned and shipped to our customer. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more technical videos.